Dr. Harini Amarasuriya, a Sri Lankan academic, rights activist, university lecturer, and a politician who also served as a senior lecturer at the Open University of Sri Lanka's Department of Social Studies. She has currently represented the National People's Power Party since 2019. Political and government personnel don't naturally turn to psychologists, but an idealistic mind can systematically use psychological knowledge to design practical solutions towards a better and more civilized society. Welcome to Flipside with Dylan. This is something new for you. Very, very different and very new. Very different and very new. Dr. Harini Amarasuriya, are you born? This is the first question that I'm going to ask you. I mean, I would like to take you back to 1970s. I mean, maybe the early 70s or maybe the late 70s. Uh, your dad was a planter. Yes. And you guys had this awesome estate yes. in Imadua. Imadua, right? So, yeah, I, I would like to know about that. Well, it belonged to his family, uh, to his uh, father and his father's brothers, so his uncles basically. Mm -hmm. And he was in charge of running the, the estate. He was the superintendent. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lovely place. Uh, there was a fact. I mean, it was on the on the Denyaya Road. Mm -hmm. It is still on the Denyaya Road. So across the road is the factory, and on the other side is the house that we lived in. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was on a little hill and a sort of a slightly hilly area. Mm -hmm. It was perfect place for a child to grow up. A perfect place for a child to grow up mm -hmm. with the perfect parents, I guess. Well, they were wonderful parents. <laughs> I, I doubt they would think of themselves as perfect. They were very normal parents. Okay. But they gave us a lovely childhood. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, wasn't like, you know, they did everything by the book, not at all. Okay. But uh, they lived by example, I think. They, they sort of, you know, lived their lives. Mm -hmm. we just, their values were communicated to us through the way they lived, mm -hmm. rather than through sort of, you know, being told that this is how you should live your life. Okay. Um, and I think, you know, like other parents, they did their best for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, I mean, from my point of view, they were perfect for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was definitely not mm. parents who followed any kind of, uh, you know, book or instructions. My mother often says that she had no idea about child care and child raising mm -hmm. when, when we were, especially when my sister and brother were young. Mm -hmm. But yeah. here you are. But here I am. Yes, <laughs> here I am. So. Now we're going to come back to Colombo. You're a bishop here. Yes. Right? Yes. So, uh, did you do any sports back in school? No, I was terrible at sports. Okay. I was absolutely awful at sports. Uh, but I did everything else apart from sports. So, I was in the brownies, I was mm -hmm. into uh, uh, debating, mm -hmm. all of those things. I was. I used to fancy myself as a writer, so I used mm -hmm. to write a lot to the school magazine. Uh, you know, so I was into all kinds of things. I was hugely into interact at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So everything but sports. Fantastic. So, when did you realize that? like you should do something like you know okay everybody's got this slight vision mm -hmm. towards a uh, i mean when you go towards uh, a proper education system and uh, w when did you realize that okay i need to get into politics or maybe uh, like did you have it in you back in the not day at not at all not at all not at all i had no i had no idea of getting into politics mm -hmm. at that time okay uh, but I guess there was this sense of um, that you needed to do some, be useful. That okay. came both from my family and also from school, I think. For many of us, this idea that 
you know, you have to be responsible towards others or you have to be mm -hmm. useful. That was something that I felt I wasn't quite sure how or mm -hmm. what you needed to do, but that you have to lead a useful life. That was sort of in, in us, through our families, through our school, I think, also, yeah. So I'm going to fast forward to 2014 or maybe 2015. Are you still with Nest? Not anymore. Okay. Uh, I resigned when I... Uh, I was on the board till I actually got nominated to Parliament, but then mm -hmm. I resigned from it because I felt I needed to be independent of any entanglements that I may have or be perceived to have. Okay. So I resigned from the board. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I worked at Nest from 1995 to about 1999. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, what I have heard is that uh, you're, you're actually an, like kind of an advocate mm -hmm. towards uh, child protection. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. And do you think that you still have the time to really focus on these or maybe can you make it as a vision one day that you can come up with some solution for all these problems and not all these problems i mean somewhat that we are having in the system right now oh for sure i mean that's definitely something that i want to do in the long term mm -hmm. i mean i have a lot i worked in the child protection sector for many years so mm -hmm. i'm uh, very much an insider in the sense of knowing also how it works, the difficulties that child protection um, service providers also face, okay. right? both from government and uh, non-government organizations. Uh, so my, 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 sub, my, my field work for my uh, PhD was also on child, was also with, with, the child with the child protection agency. Mm -hmm. So um, this is something that is, you know, we've talked about for so many years mm -hmm. and I really would like to make a change you okay. know, because there are very uh, simple things that need to be done, things that don't really cost a lot of money but mm -hmm. that require people with uh, knowledge to be in the sector and making those decisions. And we have lots of people who have the knowledge and experience but whose views are, you know, uh, the recommendations are never implemented or what we know never gets translated into actual actions, right? And Correct. for that you need power also, unfortunately or fortunately. <laughs> so um, if one day I have the power to make those decisions, that's mm -hmm. definitely one area I would focus on. So normally if it was a, a normal interview, the first thing that uh, the person would ask you is or would try to elaborate that you hold a PhD in social anthropology mm -hmm. and that is something that um, I won't say it's really rare in Sri Lanka but it is a bit rare am mm -hmm. I correct it may it was when I was growing up not yeah. anymore I okay think. yeah Today there are lots of anthropologists mm -hmm. Sri Lankan anthropology especially in the younger generation so yes when I was growing up it was a bit unusual correct yeah uh, moving on mm -hmm. And when I visited you today, mm -hmm. you had no idea what was going on, mm, right? No. <laughs> yes. And you were telling me that you were a bit uncomfortable to do all these kind of interviews and you don't like to show your face. No. Yes, I believe. Yes. You said no, I right? I don't like talking about myself. Exactly. Yes. But the thing is, I'm being quite honest and quite straight. I think uh, we are in lack of people like you because most of the time the media try to implement on people who got power as you mentioned and money mm -hmm. but nothing has happened so far mm -hmm. am i right i mean not not nothing in the sense like there are sections that i would like to elaborate and go deeper but this is nothing to do with politics okay. I, I don't like to talk politics here mm -hmm. and as you mentioned and we are not going to promote you as a politician here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can you can promote my politics, but you can't. I don't like promoting myself. 
ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಗೋ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಂಕ್ ಏನೋ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಣ ಪೂವಾ ಗೆಡಿಯೋ ಆಗಿ ಕೇಳ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ದೆಂಗ್ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಏನೋ ಕಥಾ ಹಾಕರ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಪುಳುವಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಏನೋ ಕಥಾ ಹಾಕನ್ನ ಚರಿತೆ ಗೆನ ಕಥಾ ಹಾಕರ ಅನ್ನೋದು ತಹಾನ ಮಗೇತನೆತ್ರ ಸಮಾಜಗತಕರಣ ಎಮನ ವೆಂದಿ